Welcome to Celebrity Equinox. And today in this episode, we're going to take a look at a concierge balcony stateroom here on the Equinox. And one of the things you'll find about concierge class staterooms are that they are often in some of the prime locations on the ship conveniently at midship, which is great depending on how the sea is going outside and just from interior convenience, getting around to all the parts of the ship that you want to uh, partake in, different activities, relaxation, food, drinks, etc. So as we head inside, we're gonna show you everything that the inside of that concierge stateroom has to offer. Come on in. Now, right inside of our concierge class stateroom, we're going to see the door to the bath. And when we open that door, straight across will be your sink, spacious countertop, a large mirror, and adequate storage. There's really a lot. If you see there's shelves up above the counter area, behind glass, additional shelves behind the wooden door, there's some storage underneath the counter space. And, and then as you pan around, you're going to see the shower, which is one of those rounded showers with the glass door. Uh, very convenient. It's a really nice size bath, similar to what you'll see across the solstice class, and you'll be able to get ready for everything you're doing day and evening. And as you're outside the bath door, you're in a little bit of a vestibule on the way into your stateroom. You're going to find your temperature controls right on the wall here. There are some permanent hooks on the opposite wall, and this is a great spot if you bring those metallic hooks to add them to the wall for extra storage. You'll also benefit from a full-length mirror, which is perfect for checking things out before you head out to the restaurants and to the shows in the evening. As we come in further, you're going to see the living area and sleeping area of the spacious concierge stateroom. As we come further into the concierge balcony stateroom, in this room, the living area is closest to the door and the bath. So we're going to come to the desk area. There is a reasonable desk with a nice comfortable chair, another mirror with lighting above, and across from that there is a full-size couch with a coffee table. Very convenient and relaxing, and you'll be able to be in position to watch the television, which is over the additional counter and draw space that is connected to your desk. So in general, there's going to be a lot of uh, room for you to store things and to relax and enjoy your stateroom. As you come in further, you're going to see that there is a double wide closet. As you open that up, you'll see that there's long hanging and bars in the back that'll come down for short hanging if you need it. I see some robes back in the corner that are there for you to use, an umbrella as well. And in another part of the room, you'll find some binoculars in a concierge class stateroom that you can borrow also. Lots of good storage here. A little further in, you're going to find additional storage in the dresser. And the dresser is really a combination furniture item. It's going to have some drawers for you that are pretty good size. Fine if you're here for about a week and are unpacking your things. There's a mini fridge down below the counter and a safe. You're gonna find with that safe that you can fit a tablet in there, your car keys, passports, and wallets, etc. It may not hold your full-size computer, but you can check that out. And most of your things can be stored securely while you're out on the ship or off at a port destination on a shore excursion. A little further into the room, we're gonna keep heading out toward the balcony and you're gonna see the sleeping area. As we take a little bit closer look at the desk area, one thing to point out is that you're going to see two US plugs and a European plug. No USBs here and all of the plugs that you can use in the stateroom are located over here by the desk, not at the nightstand. So be aware of that and you may wanna bring an adapter so that you can plug in some of your other technology items. While this concierge balcony stateroom may look like a traditional balcony stateroom, part of being in concierge class is the service package that comes along with it. And when you come to your stateroom, you'll receive a paper that will give you an overview of all of the things that you'll be invited to and the services that you can tap into. You'll see that you can get a bottle of sparkling wine upon request as you come onto the ship. You'll be invited to a special first day lunch, a concierge only lunch, and you'll have special concierge managers who are there to help you with any kind of reservations that you may need, along with other types of services like that, including a departure lounge that makes your departure at the end of the trip even easier. There's so much more, so read that when you get into your stateroom. Now past that living space is your sleeping area. 
There is a great king size bed here with a nightstand on either side. The nightstands are modest and they are shelves in this stateroom, not closed drawers, but they're useful to keep things at the bedside. The other key thing here is that above each side of the bed, you have another area for storage and this comes in really handy. There's a lot of storage area here when you combine it with the amount over the other side of your bed. So great for unpacking. The beds are high enough that your suitcases will fit underneath after you've unpacked. And from this angle, you also have a great view out to your balcony and we're gonna head out there next. Well, here's the part of the stateroom tour everybody looks forward to, and that is a view of the balcony. This is a concierge class stateroom that is midship, and it has a really large balcony. And that is one of the really nice features of a number of concierge class staterooms. They are in prime locations on the ship, including at midship and where the ship bumps out, that in this case is giving us an extra deep and nice wide balcony. You're gonna enjoy the opportunity to sit out here in the morning with a cup of coffee or tea, or in the afternoon with a cocktail, a snack, or even having room service dinner delivered to you. And one of the nice things about this stateroom balcony is that there is a covered roof over our top of our heads here. So we are out of the elements, out of the sun really, so we have some shade, and yet you can step out right to the balcony rail and see a beautiful, beautiful view all across the horizon. Let's take a look. Now, when you're ready to book your next celebrity cruise, reach out to us here at Next Wave Cruising. We know these ships, we know celebrities, programs really well, and we'd be happy to help you figure out the best itinerary, the best schedule, and when and how you want to sail, and make sure that we can help you book the best arrangements for your vacation, whether that's for yourself, your family, your friends, or even a group. So don't hesitate, reach out to us at Next Wave Cruising. Our contact information is in the description below this video. Now, if you're finding something helpful about this video, I'll ask you to give this a thumbs up, and we appreciate your feedback and comments. We'll also invite you to subscribe. Subscribing is totally free. It doesn't put you on a mailing list or anything like that, but it does let you know every time we post a new episode to this channel and you can keep up with what's happening on the ships, the new itineraries, what's happening in terms of cruising opportunities, ports of call, and everything that we cover on the channel. We look forward to you being with us. It's easy, just hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. You'll be in the know every time we post that new episode to the channel. And before you go, check out the video in the upper right. There's a lot of good cruising information there for you, and I'll see you over there.